I will encourage you to not sit with that person. I will tell you the truth. Shift. Move around. Because that person has not already impacted your life. You need new strangers in your life. So that your life is changed. So that you, the next stranger you meet might be your next opportunity. So I encourage you guys not to sit together because you know each other. I want you to mix yourself. I want you to see the next person you can have an opportunity with. Why are we doing this, what we have done here today? We are doing it because we want everyone's life to change. And our main focus as Concept Real Estate, me as a CEO of Concept Real Estate, is to help immigrants in different communities to get the piece of the pie of the American dream. I tell you, everyone, what you are seeing here today, which is being done, you can do it. I want this to be done in all states of America. I want this to be done in all communities. I want us to work together. The only thing which I will speak about here today is about unity. Everyone, you may not believe in anyone's principle, but try to develop to be obedient with other people's principle. Try to unite with others. Even if the, you don't see there's a gap to unite. Try to connect with others. Even if you see it's hard to connect with them. Try to be forgiving. Try to be understanding of the other person's situation. And that's why all of you are in this room. Because you forgive me. Because you are understanding of me. Because we are united together. Because we are a community. So, I encourage you and I urge to you, let us be a unity. And the unit we have started here today, it has to be different. Next time when we are here, the Kickstarter 4, we have known to have space. I want people even standing. Please, believe in yourself. In my book, The Enterprising Entrepreneur, I don't know where is the copy. Uh, some. Thank you. I want everyone to get a copy, not to just support me, but I want you to get a copy. And I will recommend only one chapter in this book. There are so many amazing things in this book. But I will recommend for you chapter four. It talks about procrastination. It talks about procrastination. And procrastination has killed a lot of people's dreams. Most of us, we are here, we are saying, I'm going to do it. I'm telling you, everyone here is telling the other, what Brian has done, I'm going to do it. I've learned everything. I'm going to do it. But it doesn't take just saying about it. It takes action. And massive action. It takes massive action. So I ask you, read about the principles which will save you to avoid procrastination. Because everything which I've attained in real estate to build a portfolio I've built, and if you see, I work with Steve. Steve knows me. I tell him every time I see him, you will see me here next month. And always like, I'll wait for you. And he sees me. Do you know why I tell him I will, I will see him next month? Because I make it as a commitment to me that he sees me next month. And then he thinks about it. He's like, this guy doesn't procrastinate. When he has a target, he makes it happen. When I go with Frederica to the closings, as my reator, I tell her, what are we doing next? What is the on the market right now we have to achieve, to get? I tell her, I may not have the enough money to buy the next deal, but who are the other people I partner with? When we continue doing this thing, we are going not to do it for everyone. I just want to tell you. The next event we do, we are focusing on partners. Because everyone would want to be part of this. But we want committed people. We want committed people. And we want people who are willing to work with us. That's why when I started speaking, I spoke about unity and commitment. If you are not committed to anyone in your circle, they cannot think about the support you can give them. They cannot even have a hope to do something. Because they don't have anyone they can commit to. So I urge you, 
encourage yourself not to procrastinate on your dreams. Thank you so much.